Hey, hey, what's shaking, guys? My name is Luke Dancy, and I am very excited today for you to see and hear more about Insider from Mark O'Bron. This is an incredible peak device. This is absolutely crazy. And the rumor is Mark is going to give you the work on this today. He's going to show you some of the method on how this actually works because it's too damn good not to show you guys. And we have some other surprises along the way. So welcome him from the other side of the pond, my friend and yours, Mark O'Bron. How we doing, sir? Great. Thank you, Luke. All right. This is going to be good, man. The There's show. been a lot of buzz about your brand new release, which is always fun, obviously. Mm. Um, but speaking of buzz, how's your arm feeling? I know you got a little buzz yourself today. What's going on with you? <laughs> yeah, I've just had the uh, the COVID uh, vaccine injection in my arm literally about an hour ago. <laughs> so All right. it's, it's, it, it aches a little bit, if I'm honest. All right. Well, yeah. thanks for uh, getting shot up and then sitting down to talk some magic. <laughs> ah, it'll take and, my mind off the pain and we all hope you feel okay obviously and uh i'm waiting in line to get mine over here so hopefully it'll be sooner than later but today we are talking all about your brand new product and uh the word is you might actually show some of this which is pretty damn cool actually so for those that don't know first what is insider if for those that have been living underneath a rock for the last week or so well it's, it's a peak device um that uses um these index cards you don't have to use these index cards you could use um, a business card um for example but if you use the cards here like see there's actually there's six pieces of information mm -hmm. so you can peek up to six pieces of information and uh there's another method where you can double that as well um with a suggestion an idea from colin mcleod which i'll talk a little bit a bit later about cool. so let's say that you've you've all this information has been written on here the name of somebody the relationship susan mother uh what else have we got we've got a date could be a birthday birth sign a uh, favorite color and a pet name so and uh what you've got these index cards which of course is what you you, you wrote it on and what happens is that these are this is slid into the center of the stack like this and they can see it going in they can see the other side. And as you go to put the elastic band on, at that point, I've now peaked. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and actually in that one moment, I could, I could actually peak half the information. Uh, I, in that quick peak, I wouldn't go for a date. I'd, I'd just go for names, relationships, and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then I've got, you see, I wanted a peak device where it wasn't obscured. It wasn't like you were looking through uh, you know, a film or a yeah. lens or a net, a mesh or anything. I wanted to see directly to it without any electronics, without any lighting, just see. And I didn't want it to be just a little slit where they had to limit that to just one little area. I wanted to peek the whole thing. And I also wanted to be able to re-peek. So, for example, when I'm doing this, I could start to reveal the uh, two or three bits of the information. And then I could, I want, let's say I want to grab more information. I come back and say, no, just think back to that moment that you were, writing that down and I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm actually looking at all the information now. And again, you, you can flash the other side straight away. So just think about it. I can put this into their hand and it, they literally have got no idea. That is the gimmick. They're looking directly at it. That's what you're able to see through. And there's various peak handling. So I can give it to them and I can say, look, I want you to hold this between your palms like this. And, and again, now I'm looking at all the info and then I hand it to them. Yeah. So, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll show you the the method. This this is this is what it is. <laughs> yes, it, it is yeah. so good, man. Oh, it's so good. Later. I love peak devices, and I, I've literally got twenty five different methods. I've got wallets. I've got all sorts. Um, but I, I genuinely invent. I didn't invent this because I thought I want to make sell something, make some money. I invented it because I wanted to invent something that, that a peak device that would really work for me in every situation. I haven't yet used it on stage because I haven't been on stage since this was finally completed, but I will definitely uh, be performing it on stage. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, and that's the thing I was going to mention. Uh, I know that Colin is a stage performer and I'm sure that he's using this on stage. And actually a question that I saw come in yesterday from a friend, uh, Chris Cavanaugh, he wanted to know in, in one of Colin's quotes, he says, um, buy two. And my friend wanted to know, well, is that is that for a specific reason or is that because Colin just has a routine that he, you know, uses two of those with? 
yeah well th what colin uh made me realize was that you can actually use two of these one on each side so mm -hmm. you can uh... use and i've done it with two spectators um so you could i mean I don't always use six pieces of information on, on one card, right. but you, you, but you could have six and six. So that's up to 12 pieces of information that you've got at your fingertips that you can look at openly at any time. Love it. Um, and this is it. Yeah. Look how inconspicuous, look how freaking everyday normal this looks like. It's just a stack of index cards. It's crazy, man. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Meanwhile, it is 59.95, so 60 bucks. Um, and it is on pre-sale right now until the 29th, which I guess is Monday of next week. Yeah. So just want to answer that question real quick for uh, Mark, who was also watching. He's also from the UK. So thanks for the question, Mark. All right. The other Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, people are freaking out, Mark, and I knew they would. Uh, Braden on YouTube is saying that's really amazing. Um, and that's the one thing too, guys, if you are watching this on YouTube, good thing you tuned in live because after this YouTube, we're going to be blurring out how this thing actually works. I'm going to go in and I'm going to blur it out um, for protection's sake. Um, and yeah, so it's a good thing you're here live. And another question I saw earlier today, Mark, on our Facebook page, on the Murphy's Facebook page was, um, because people are writing on a card, these are quote unquote consumable, right? These are things you're going to go through. Do you want to maybe address the fact that uh, you are going to get rid of a card each time because there's writing? And what would you do about that going forward? Yeah, well, you, you get like a good, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how many come with it. There's at least 60. Uh, it's around about 60. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, I just put them all in to fill the box up till it, <laughs> until it was full. Um, but I will be supplying uh, card replacement cards and we're going to keep the price really reasonable. Uh, you know, we really, we discussed this and, and I don't want people to not do the thing because they're, you know, they, they, I want it to be cheap enough that you just don't care about it. You just do it and, and throw them away. But not only that, you don't even need to use these cards. You can just take your business card or their business card and, and stick it into the stack like that. So, cool. um, yeah, but the, the, the refills will be coming out soon. We um, just all, all we're doing is just waiting till the thing just gets underway. And we, we realize how much the demand is before we then invest in in uh, putting out all the replacements. Yeah. And yeah. just a quick look here at what the cards are and about the size of them. Uh, you can see them here with the, uh, the rubber band around them there. And there's kind of like in your palm, kind of like in a dealer's grip, like a mechanic's grip for card guys out there. Yeah. It's, it's, they're probably like a, a little bit bigger than some uh, than, than business cards and they're a little bit smaller than a playing card. Mm -hmm. um, you also, the, you know, you, you, if you could have business cards, if you wanted your business card to be made with those white line, uh, those black lines on the back, and um, cool. that would be an option as well. I'm so hooked on how cool the gimmick is. I'm like forgetting <laughs> to ask so many important questions. So, I mean, this is so James Bond, man. This is so like MacGyver <laughs> that I absolutely, I mean, I told you the other day when we were uh, messaging each other, I'm like, I saw the I saw the method and I just started smiling so much. It's so good. What a brilliant yeah, way to well, do this. You know, I, you, you know usually with um, a peak, I, I find that you know you've got to capture the image in your mind very quickly because you don't yeah. want to be seen to be looking at something. And yeah. and you know you, you don't you you generally haven't got the chance to go back. You know, um, mm -hmm. but with this you could actually leave it open behind uh, behind something and there's routines that we include um in the instructions where that's so, so you, you could go to get a pen and have a look and have another look there's five different peaks that are all justified for actually coming back and taking a look um again um yeah so you you don't have to worry you don't have to stress about like oh can i see it or just i just grab what i can information then i might think mm, i'm not quite sure about the handwriting there. So I'm, I use one of the peaks where I'm justified in looking for a little bit longer, you know, take this and hold it between your palms and really get an idea. And, you know, and Colin has given a nice idea where you, you draw something, things on the back of the cards and you would hold it up like this. So I'm just, so, you know, there's, there's a nice idea there where you're asking somebody to think of a, an ESP symbol, or it could be a list of words that you're gonna go into an anagram uh, type of an effect. But all the while, you're looking directly at all this information for as, as long as you like. I mean, you, you, yeah, you, you know, you could, um, you could, and you could have, for example, 
you could have all sorts of information about a person's relationship with somebody and you could have their, their date of birth. Now, you could also write down um, the birth signs here and you say, just think about your birth sign. Just look at them all, but keep your, you know, your vision consistent. And I'm going to see if I can pick out which is your birth sign. Now, of course, I'm looking at their actual <laughs> birthday here and I can actually figure out what their birth sign is. So then you, you better, and by right. that time, I've got, I've, it doesn't matter what, how complex the information is, I've got the whole lot. And so that was pointed out by Colin, Colin McLeod, and I'm very grateful to that because, nice. for that, because that's, uh, yeah, it's that idea of just being in no rush, no, no hassle. It doesn't matter if you can't quite see it properly. You, uh, you've got all the time in the world to, to, to gather that information. Yeah. And you mentioned Colin's name, and I know that there's someone else on here with you on the project as well. Um, why don't you talk about what else is included besides just the gimmick and the cards? I know there's some routines included. Well, the, um, my friend Aaron Calvert, who is a superb mentalist and hypnotist. And, uh, you know, he's, he's been on TV lots of times. I've seen him perform live. Really, really admire him as a, as a mentalist. And I showed it to him and he just kept coming up with ideas. And, you know, it was really making my head spin, actually, all the things he was coming up with and showing me. And we had several chats, several Zoom chats. And, it, 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 you know, and I, he was telling me things, but I, I was kind of, I couldn't take it all in. But then... Uh, Finally, so we, we got it all on the instructions and, you know, he, he's talking about different ways that he's got graphology routines and there's so many performance tips that he actually adds into it. And uh, I'm really grateful to him for it. He's really added a lot of value to, to, the, to the thing and hasn't even charged me anything at this point. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, after he sees how popular this damn thing is, you might get a bill in the mail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. That's Aaron. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's a great guy. Really Very good. Cool. What's the skill level on this, please? I know that you were showing how this worked. And if you guys are just tuning in, Mark did reveal how this works. The method is incredibly cool. Maybe he'll show it again. I don't know. No promises. Yeah. Um, yeah. How tough is this one to do in general, you know, maybe routine wise and uh, using the gimmick with it? I don't think there's an, an easier peak than this. Yeah. Genuinely. I don't think there's anything easier. I, I, so the, the good thing about that is you can concentrate all your energy on how to reveal the information. And I do talk quite a bit uh, on there about how I use peak revealing information that I've peaked on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a whole load of stuff about um, getting somebody to write down somebody in their life and the relationship and, and, and how that is a whole thing where you, you, you know, you, 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 I said, this is somebody you're very fond of. Uh, ah, and then like, if, you see, it's for example, if it's a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend if it's a, a husband or a wife it's a romantic relationship this is, this is somebody you're very fond of and i say and i see a little they say yes i am and i say yeah I, the way that you agreed with that question you had a twinkle in your eyes and i could see that this is a some kind of romance there you said you know if, if this is somebody you're very fond of yes i am there's like a little twinkle whereas if it's an older respected person mm -hmm. you know like a grandparent so this is this is somebody you're very fond of yes i am you know if it's like a, a little kid, a little five-year-old, this is somebody you're very fond of. Yes. And, and then you get a cute picture, so you get a warm feeling. And so there's all this scripting that I've learned over the years to just build around the, the reveal, to make it something far more intimate and uh, powerful than just saying, oh, you wrote down John. You know, <laughs> what they wrote down is, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and the skill level, I mean, it, I'm literally going to do this. this. This is the skill level. And, and 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 that's doing it one hand but you can you can do it two hand look this is even easier that's what you're doing from here to here so um when you put the band on you come here and i'm just literally I'm, i'll do it from here i'm literally gripping here and the band goes on like that as i'm peeking and then i and it's there yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, I love peak devices. I really do, because I think it's I think when you when you perform it really well, like it's just mind blowing to somebody. Yeah. They absolutely feel that you're, you've got inside their mind. Um, and I don't want to be disrespectful to peak wallets and other peaks and that sort of thing, because, you know, all, and all the electronic stuff and all of that, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I, I give you I have a really good peak wallet that might I, that I carry around every day. And uh you know what? I've performed it once 
in in the uh, three years that I've owned it. I just don't do it. I don't. I, I'm not even sure why, but um, I just. I, well, anyway, yeah. But this, I do perform this at like any chance I get. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to see why. I mean, it's great, and it, it just as a performer, it's just fun to. It's just fun to play with. It's just fun to look at. Like I can't believe this. This fun to do a magic trick, as Nigel yeah. put it. Uh, I, I like this. He put it's a cheeky peak device. Yeah, very cheeky, and it's, and it's yeah, it's great. It it, yeah. it it is cheeky, and it's. Yeah. One of the things I like about it is, it, I, I know I keep laboring on about this thing about revisiting and re-peaking, but you know when you peak, you can feel a little bit guilty sometimes. Like, oh, get a look, and then you... you, you I know, man. I, just, I question myself a lot. Like, did I get it? Ugh. Yeah. But the, the idea that you can just blatantly, you know, if you didn't get it, you, the, you, there's five different techniques for, for, and that are all justified and motivated for going back and revisiting. You didn't just have, have one shot as it was going into your jacket. It's... You know, it, and and the last one where you you hold it and have it, you say, "I'm going to give this to you," and I want you to really think about that <laughs> first. <staring> <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, speaking yeah. of jackets, I was uh, hoping maybe you would throw your jacket on and give the guys a little more <laughs> magic love today. This is going to be fun. Yeah, are you okay uh, with this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, let's give Mark a second. So uh, while he's doing that, guys, I was going to show you another one of his amazing products, an outstanding product, which is actually called outstanding. Um, this took the magic world by storm a couple months ago. I don't even want to tell you what it is. I'll let Mark sum it up real quick. Actually, why don't we do the quick performance, Mark, uh, if yeah. that's okay. And then you can kind sure. of tell them more about it. So the way this is going to work um, is live with you guys. And Mark and I talked about this before. And instead of me just giving you some information, Mark, um, let's have people interact with us and we'll play the game. You, you okay with that? Yeah, sure. I cool. mean, okay. So I'll let you take over. You're the performer, so I'll just I'll sit back and let you go. Okay, great. Well, I'll, I'll I mean, essentially, what I'm going to show you is a it's a 52 out effect, um, and it's it's really this. That's why I put the wallet on. I uh, put the jacket on. But uh, you know, of course, um, there's different. You don't always have to wear a jacket, but if you want it to look this clean, um, I think it's best with an inside jacket. Um, now. It could be playing cards. It could be anything. I've recently customized um, my outstanding set to show cities in the in England because I found out there was 51 cities in England. So um, now it, it, sometimes people don't always know what's a city and, and what isn't. So I've actually got a list of all all 51 here. I mean, normally I wouldn't do this. If I was in, in England, I would just ask somebody for a city and that's right. fine. But uh, I'm just afraid someone might say Blackpool and of course that's not a city right. so um I, I look can you choose a person to really just name one of those cities for me yeah so um I see kind of a new uh, a new face out there Freddie Wilkinson so Freddie uh, and we have a slight delay like a 15 second delay um Freddie if you want to name one of the cities that you see on the list assuming Freddie's still here um if not I know Nigel's around so Freddie go first and if, I, if I, you know something like Freddie is a really good personal friend of mine. Oh crap! I didn't <laughs> like know I, that. Okay. Um, and I mean, so I, I like I, I, I don't like. I mean, I know Freddie. We go back years. Like you know, he hangs <laughs> out at my house, and we really. So I, I, I think that's. How about, if, how about if, Luca? Somebody, I know, I know you know Luca, but is Derby okay? Derby, yeah, yeah, it's, it, like as the city, yeah. Derby, sure. yeah, D E R B Y, yeah. yeah, Derby, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um. So I, I would say now uh, there are just three points I want to emphasize. And the first point is that there is just one envelope in the pocket. OK. Uh, and the second point is that there is just one piece of paper in the envelope. And the third point that there is just one thing written on the piece of paper Nice. Um, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Derby. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't it's even know of... you guys were buddies. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. Hi, Freddie. So that is uh, this. This is outstanding. If you want to give the guys a little summary, obviously they've seen the performance now, uh, but maybe some yeah. of the details that you'd like them to know uh, about this one, because this is fantastic too, Mark. So much good stuff. Yeah. Well, this is a customizable effect. So like, you know, so I've just customized it for, uh, for cities, but um, right. A few moments later. Uh, and then remove the correct piece of paper. 
and display it's <laughs> empty right it, it locks shut like that and they're laminated so they'll keep clean um i did see some people saying that you know you, you wouldn't do this close up well you absolutely can do it close up i've done it close up and it it really really kills beautiful i don't know absolutely what else to beautiful. say and, and as yeah. mark said i just want to highlight this fact um, Mark was doing this with cities, but it's totally customizable for any information that you want to reveal on pieces of paper. It's not just cities. I wanted to highlight that just one more time. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. I think some because I mean, there's some oh, imbecile on the Magic Cafe was going. Well, I think uh, you know, just you know, can get the same effect with an invisible deck. Idiot! Like some on, of these people. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it can be anything that, that's written on there. You know, this, it doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to wear a jacket. It's uh, it's easy to see why Mark Oberon is a uh, <laughs> is a FISM winner. It's pretty pretty easy to see this right away, right? <laughs> Somebody's just bought one. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, John Archer's here too. Um, He's got some love for you. He says, Mark doesn't come up with anything that isn't top notch. And I, I'd agree. I mean, John Archer obviously is a, a legend and knows what he's talking about. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's right. He's absolutely right. Well, Mark. Thank you, John. Yeah, I feel the love right back at him. Yeah. 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 And um, not only is this one a great piece of magic, I wanted to also quickly highlight another one of my favorites of yours that came out within the last year, sometime in the last year. And um, that's Incarnation 2.0. And um, I have the video kind of queued up here um if you want to kind of talk about what this one is as well just quickly while we're going through this right well um first of all it's a clip that enables you to produce a folded card and that's very simple you just squeeze and it automatically pops out so there's no sleight of hand that is the easiest thing anybody could ever do the production secondly it enables you to, you could switch it for another folded card so it could be switched for a signed card but what I've included is a so you can have your hands in your pocket and with one hand pulls out the clip and the other hand in one action you don't need to put your hand in your pocket and fumble around you're already in contact with all 13 cards because your thumbs on the back and your fingers are here I, do you know what I'm going to show you I've got one I'll have to open it I'll show you this is the clip so to produce the card, it's this. Nice. Right. Looks good. And, and yeah. basically, he just opened the package. So everything you're seeing him show you right now is how it all comes made, ready for you to go right out of the package, which is great. Yeah. To, <laughs> to be honest, they're, they're really um, complicated to make. And I have literally only got one. So I'm almost, I almost, I mean, I, if I get some more, I'll make them. That's fine. But um, it's... It's, uh, it's quite time consuming. And of course, I make all my props. So I make all of these at the, at the moment. I've, and uh, it's, it, it's a really time consuming thing. But um, but I want to keep the quality control just exactly right. Sure. Um, also want to give a, a quick shout out to uh, my buddy and yours, uh, Mr. Peter Nardi. What's up, Peter? Good to see you, my friend. Oh. The pond. oh, hi, Peter. Yeah. And the good thing is all these are available from your favorite magic shop. So if you're doing virtual shows now, um, I can see Incarnation being perfect for that. I saw Nigel mention earlier that he's been using Outstanding. It's another great virtual thing, you know, as well. Um, so, yeah. And another good friend just popped on, Mr. Oscar Munoz, uh, former IBM president. Ah. What's up, Oscar? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Hello. Lots of, lots of good people. Um, but yeah. when it comes back to full circle here, when it comes back to Insider, are there any other thoughts, any other details you want to share with people that uh, you might have seen kind of buzzing around, questions popping up? I know I asked about, the refills and you said those are coming down the pipe very soon um yeah any other thoughts about insider that you want to make sure people know about uh actually i have some notes here i th i reckon we might have covered it all but uh, i'll just check here just to cool yeah we really went into detail today i'm i'm really thankful for your time so no uh again mark just got his shot he got his vaccine earlier so um he literally did that and came here so much love to him give him some love out there guys yeah <laughs> for hanging out yeah Oh, I know what I'd like to mention that um, all my video, my la you know, the videos like Outstanding and Lucidcoin and uh, and this uh, was Insider, uh, the video, the trailers um, are all done by my son, Xavier, um, who's oh, cool. 22 years of age and um, like really brilliant. I mean, the, the time that it's taken to actually put each trailer together and the thought that's gone into it uh, and, you know, and, and the way we've packaged the instructions in such a way that you can get to 
each section. And I'm really uh, proud of uh, of him. So uh, cool, thank you, Zadie. Really another cool. Mark yeah. is actually here. Another uh, another amazing Mark, Mark Spillman. Um, oh. Says he put his order in earlier today. Mark only creates gold and I have everything he creates. So another bit of love for you, Mr. Oberon. And it's well-deserved, of course, as you can. Oh, that's you can wonderful. See. Thank you. Um, yeah. did, did I have a question here coming in from uh, Nathan over on YouTube about uh, Insider? Um, oops, I got the wrong one here. Uh, can you throw the Peak device in your jeans pocket for everyday use? So, yeah, what about like an everyday carry for Insider? Yes, no, maybe? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. yeah, because the thing is, um, it's not going to, like I say, because it's made of plastic, it's, it's, it's not going to get grubby, you know, or, or if it does get grubby, you can just wipe it down. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I take, I carry it around all the time. So yeah, it, no reason why not. All right. Very good. Definitely a big thank you for, um, not only answering the questions that we had come in, but going above and beyond people are saying that they're really thankful that someone would go this far and it shows how much you believe in your products to be as transparent as you've been, uh, with the way that a lot of these things work. So, um, that says a lot about you and your material in general, but it doesn't surprise me because your name, you know, ever since the whole FISM attachment was there, you know, Mark O'Bron's name has always been, you know, at a very high level in the magic industry. So it's great to see you still putting out amazing stuff. Um, even after all these years, man, like you're still doing it, which is great. Um, actually, there was one last question I did see, and I want to get to it real, real quick. It's about Insider. Uh, Vamal says, ordering one now. I want to ask one thing. Does the gimmick talk in normal performance? And I've seen that a couple of times with the, when you were showing us how the thing worked, um, obviously you're hearing the rubber band, you know, a little bit, um, any, any concerns on the, yeah. the method well, talk? There's, yeah, there's, there's, um, on, on, there's one, one move where the talk is quite loud, but I do cover that by the band. So I literally, when it closes, um, ah, okay, cool. So that's the loud one, but I can, if I, if I'm using two hands, it's, it's not talking, it's, it's silent. And there's um, there's a couple of handlings as well where you come like this and then you push it with the pinky, and again that's a silent opening. Okay. So um, yeah, there, there's several different ways of doing it. That, um, but yeah. So the talking, um, it genuinely hasn't been a problem. I but when I in real performance, I never even noticed it. But when I was putting together the instructions, I started to think, oh, this might be something that magicians will pick up on uh, if you were in a totally silent environment. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I just paid some attention to that point where. If you're doing the loud one-handed opening and closing, then that covers it. Um, otherwise, all of the other methods of opening where you use the hands, that's really quiet. Yeah. Um, and the, the one where you hand it to somebody like this as well, it's really quiet. It just comes back like that. I mean, cool. there's a ever so slight, you know, I can just hit, I can hear a very slight thing, but you know, there's just nothing that's going to telegraph anything. Yeah. Cool. And thanks for answering that. I did see it a couple of times. I missed it earlier. So uh, thank you for Vamal for bringing that one up again. Because uh, as Mark mentioned, there are five different ways to peek the information included on here. He teaches you how to do it five different ways. So uh, yeah. Uh, and as Nathan says, just so impressive. It's so organic uh, or natural to have a stack with you. I'm already... He's like, I already have a bunch of stuff in my pockets now, but just wow. So yeah, he's he's digging on this and the everyday carry, you know, this just looks like something you'd carry just in your pockets too, if you were so inclined. So well, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you for having me on. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been fun. And uh, mm -hmm. you guys made it fun too for all the great questions and, and saw so many great people popping up today too. And you, as you see, as if you didn't know already, you got a lot of fans out there all over the world, Mr. Oberon. So you are Yeah, I've got, uh, so many friends in magic i was thinking about it the other day you know i mean it's quite lonely being on your own but then i've been talking to a lot of my friends on zoom and yeah. kind of realized just what a, how wonderful it is to you know what, what wonderful really really lovely friends have got all over the world and through magic it's yeah it's a beautiful thing isn't beautiful it? yeah yeah cool all right well uh from uh from me and my new friend mr mark Obron, we're gonna get out of here so you guys stay safe Take care of yourself and each other, and I will catch you all next time. Thank you, Mark, for the time. So for me and Mark Oberon, see you guys. Take care.